Hey, I'm Patrick Burke, and I'm proud to be principal at South Burlington High School, South Burlington, Vermont. You yourself are a two-time cancer survivor, which is an incredible feat, just of strength and perseverance. Um, what does it take to persevere like that? And what would you say to someone who is probably struggling right now, as we all are struggling at least a little bit? My primary oncologist, he's a local person. When I went to see him this summer, he had to give me some like difficult news about about Corona and my situation relative to my own vulnerability and, um, and uh, what do you call it? Like high risk. Right. And like, I definitely didn't want to hear it in our conversation. He could tell like that I was upset. Right. Like that. I was like, no, I don't want this. Like, and I was asking questions like, well, what if I don't want to do that? You know? And, um, and he said to me, look, it's not forever. That's a phrase actually that I've been using also as people are getting a little afraid. Um, I wanna switch gears just a little bit because I'm very interested in the emails that you send out to your students. For me in terms of those emails and is I always remind myself that the audience are the students, you know what I mean? If you don't, if your writing doesn't connect with people, they're not gonna read it. Once we closed the school in the pan and then we had the, we were dealing with like full remote, I really felt like I wanted to be able to keep the community alive in some ways. And so um, that's why I did those daily. What do you hope to accomplish with your Twitter presence? And also, what do you think technology and like social media plays into connecting with others today? I wanted to use it for the purpose of, of sharing what I was thinking. It might be that I will um, share my thinking around an issue related to equity or related to um, you know, access to public education, things like that. And this goes back to the emails too, which is like, my audience are the students. What else does it take to be a good leader? I think so, empathy, understanding, you know, so that and empathy is pretty similar. You need to be a good listener. And I think wisdom comes with experience. Uh, what do I think of? He's just like a big, loud, kind of gregarious, uh, <laughs> very smart, um, yet um, witty person. He's like at almost every school board meeting. He's out in front, you know, meeting people. Yeah, he's, he's super committed. People are looking to you for advice for counseling. How do you want these people, like parents, teachers, staff, students, how do you want them to see you? I, want, I really want people to know that I, that I, I care a lot about the, the students that, that go to the school and, and that I work really hard to take care of them. That's one thing is trust. And then the second thing I hope that people see me as in this community is like, and I think especially like in, in America now, maybe the world, is like um, trying to create something that is unifying, that, that can bring people together. You know, we might not all agree on everything, but we are going to agree on treating each other right, or we are going to agree on, uh, you know, listening to, to each other.